Hello, my beautiful soul family. Welcome to all of my beautiful light workers, star seeds, high priests, and priestesses. Thank you, magical beings, for being here with me. If you guys are new to my channel, please take a look around at my other collective oracle readings that I offer. And feel free, if you're guided, you guys, to subscribe to my channel. Join us here in the spiritual community. I would greatly appreciate all the love and support. And also, like this video, you guys. Give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below if these oracle messages resonate for you on your own ascension journey. So you guys, oh my God, I'm feeling a little tired today. I got some sleep, but I woke up a couple times during the night. I'm feeling these major ascension energies happening, you guys. Like collectively, I am picking up so much energy over the last two or three days. So there's definitely something going on. Let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling. Are you waking up tired? Do you feel, you know, energetic? Do you feel depleted? Where is your mind at at this time? Because I was channeling spirits saying that a lot of people that are busy or staying busy in the 3D physical reality, they're feeling drained, energetically tired, depleted. Uh, there's a lot of physical sensations they're picking up in their body. Um, just know, you guys, you are okay. You are blessed. You're going through major ascension symptoms as you're leveling up and you're evolving and growing spiritually you're releasing a lot of energies from the past okay this is self-limiting belief systems that you're releasing negative thought patterns behavior patterns addictions it could even be people or jobs or situations things in your life that are no longer bringing you a sense of joy happiness and emotional fulfillment you're waking up to this energy, you're releasing these energies and you're letting them go for good. A lot of you guys are liberating and freeing yourself from your past. You're freeing yourself, you're taking back your power and sovereignty and a lot of you guys just need to work on your mind and focus on meditation, going within and keep releasing and letting go of any sort of negative thought patterns because I'm hearing spirits say, to look at your perception. What are what kind of thoughts are you guys having? I was getting this message yesterday. What kind of thoughts are you feeding your mind? Are you having negative thoughts, negative self-talk? Is there addictions or things that you need to release and let go of? I'm hearing specifically thought patterns or habits from the past that are sidetracking you and keeping you from your purpose or higher calling. So there's kind of like this uh, monkey mind, this scattering of thoughts that I'm picking up in the collective. A lot of you guys could really be in your head right now and make sure you guys, you're conquering your thoughts at this time. You're keeping your thoughts positive and pure and you're liberating yourself and you're stepping into this new cycle of your soul's evolutionary journey, being brave and courageous and having faith in the universe and keeping your faith in God and surrendering and letting go of anything that is not in alignment with you, okay? Because you guys are reaching a high level. You're coming into this energy of higher consciousness, this Christ consciousness. And as you're liberating and freeing yourself from karmic situations, karmic cycles, you know, negative limiting belief systems, whatever it is that's holding you back, you guys, you are literally going to feel a lot more free emotionally, physically, and mentally once you release these energies once and for all, okay? So that is what I'm channeling, you guys, but you're going through a major ascension. There's a deep internal shift that you're going through. And I'm also hearing for some of you guys, you're relocating, you're moving to a new country, a new city, a new home. So some of you guys, if that resonates for you, let me know in the comments, but I'm getting an energy of relocation or traveling or like changing your home completely in some way, or you guys are going through a deep internal shift on your ascension path. So you are leveling up, you guys. This is very powerful energy coming through. So let's go ahead and jump into the Oracle messages. I'm gonna start here, you guys, with my Angel Guide Oracle deck. And we have the message courage and bravery. And we see this beautiful light warrior of God. You guys, this is you. Many of you guys are earth angels, healers, spiritual teachers. You are a powerful light warrior of God. And 
you're here to bring in this new era of the Aquarian age, okay? You're here to get people to understand at a deeper soul level who they are and to show up in their true, raw, authentic self. But you guys are warriors and you're, you're here to bring light and love to the world. This is a very powerful message. So I'm hearing Spirit say, know who you are. Remember this divine being that you are. You guys are chosen ones of God. You are light workers that are here to raise the vibrational frequency on planet Earth. You're here to uplift humanity. And you guys are, you serve God in so many ways. A lot of you guys, you've always known that you're an empath or you're a light worker, a healer or a spiritual teacher. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and psychic gifts and abilities that you're going to be sharing with the world in this Aquarian age of enlightenment, you guys. So this is a very powerful energy. Let's go ahead and read my angel guide message, courage and bravery, and we'll see what spirit wants you to know today. Okay, beautiful message, you guys. So you have the heart of a warrior. You want to do what's right, but it isn't always easy. Angels are surrounding you in a light of courage at this time and guiding you to do what you know deep down in your heart is right. Being brave isn't about being emotionless. The angels are reminding you that it's okay to feel and your vulnerability will allow you to tap into an even greater inner strength. Angels are always willing to help you feel safe, guided, and guarded, so call in as much help as you need. This is a time to take ownership of your energy in any situations that could be making you feel less than good, and through your courage, you will begin to attract experiences of being respected. Yes, I'm hearing spirits say, when you value yourself and you know your self-worth and value and you take back your personal power, you guys will be respected by others around you. So this is a need to take ownership of your energy, take back your power in all areas of your life, whether that's love, relationships, your career, your, you know, you around your coworkers, your boss, there's a need to take ownership of your energy and stand true to your values and what you believe in. You guys are very powerful light warriors of God is what I'm hearing. Your angels are here to remind you that your soul cannot be tarnished or harmed. It's the one part of your essence that always remains whole, healed, and complete. So if you are feeling the need to defend yourself at this time, angel wisdom is guiding you to back down. You don't need to protect yourself, especially when you have spiritual support. Call in the light of God, heaven, and angels to protect you. If you feel that you have made a mistake or have something that you need to share, be brave and take ownership of it. Trust that living with integrity will always lead to the greatest possible unfolding of your life and know that the best gift that you can give the world at this time is your truth. Yes, and this is about the Aquarian age of enlightenment that we're coming into. With Pluto moving into Aquarius, you guys, it's a really big deal. Pluto is going to be in the sign of Aquarius for the next 20 years. And Pluto is all about death, rebirth, okay? There's a lot of shadows coming to light. You guys are integrating the darkness and light within yourself, but you're choosing the light. And you're choosing, you're choosing to show up in the world as this beautiful light warrior of God. You're here to help raise the vibrational frequency and the consciousness of humanity through your wisdom, your gifts, and the psychic abilities that you have. So this is a very powerful opening message for you guys. So be courageous and brave is what Spirit is saying. This is about stepping into the unknown. This is about being the light, shining your beautiful light into the world for everyone to see and illuminating the world with your truth that you have to share. So very powerful opening message, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into my magical dimension, oracle cards and activators. And I only have four messages for you guys, so I'm going to make this a quick video, okay? So we're starting with the number 17, Gaia Awakening. 
And this is showing light code activations, you guys, that are happening at this time during your ascension journey. So you guys are elevating, you're leveling up, you're reaching a higher level of ascension. And a lot of you guys, like I said, you are preparing to relocate, move to a new country, a new home. Spirit is leading you in a new, higher direction. So a lot of you guys will be traveling or moving. And then for others of you, this is symbolizing a deep internal shift in your surroundings or within yourself, okay? So we're going to read this beautiful message of Gaia awakening and we'll see what spirit is saying. Okay, you guys. So Gaia awakening, this is Mother Gaia awakening to a new level of consciousness as well as all inhabitants living in, on, and around her precious energetic field. New conscious awareness grows for humanity toward the planetary ascension processes and its awakening frequencies specific light codes emit to direct souls to move them to their resonant geographies on earth in order to integrate upgrade and assist Gaia with her transformations so a lot of you guys I'm hearing are grid workers or light workers in some way and you may relocating you may be preparing to relocate um, to help Gaia in some way during this awakening journey okay and then for others of you um, it's not just a change in location or a shift. It's some kind of a shift that can also be a deep inner shift within yourself. So if you're not moving, you're not actually preparing to relocate in some way. This is a deep internal shift that you're going through. And Spirit is saying new experiences and synchronistic events will occur to connect you with specific people and opportunities so you can fulfill your life's purpose. It's time to reach out to your true soul star family. You're receiving upgrades now that will assist you and propel you to a higher level. It's a great time to connect with Gaia. Yeah, so now's a great time, you guys, to get grounded, connect with Gaia and nature, walk in the grass, go hiking, or just do some meditative work at this time and raise your consciousness. Focus on, you know, the, the thoughts, the inner thoughts that you're having and releasing and letting go anything that is no longer in soul alignment with who you are or where you're going. So you guys are stepping into your higher purpose. That is what's going on. Okay. Very powerful energies here. You guys you are coming, you're becoming a new higher version of yourself and you're releasing the old paradigm and your old identity. Okay, so now we have the magician coming out for you guys. Look at how beautiful and magical this image is. This represents the number 11. So you guys could be seeing 111 or 1111 on the clock. That may be significant for you. This is an energy of emergence. So you guys are emerging from being the, caterp the caterpillar and turning into the beautiful butterfly. You've gone through your transformation and metamorphosis. Now you guys are ready to soar and fly. You're ready to reinvent yourself in some way. So I'm getting spirit saying a lot of you guys are getting new creative ideas, inventions. There's plans that you have, maybe a new project or business you want to start. There's something about reinventing yourself and becoming this powerful spiritual alchemist and creating a new reality. And a lot of people are going to feel inspired by you and they're going to actually do the same thing. They're going to follow in your footsteps. A lot of you guys are true leaders in this new earth paradigm. Like I said, you're light workers, your your healers, shamans, spiritual teachers. There's something that you do that is creative and very powerful and it's going to shift to the world in an entire new way is what I'm hearing. So let's read this energy of emergence, the magician, and we'll see what spirit is saying. Wow, powerful messages, you guys. I love this energy. So this is creation, resurrection, and the magician energy. You are at a reinvention point. You are a magical being able to transform anything that you wish. Remember who you are. It's wise to have clarity of intentions in your creative endeavors. Also, be careful of trickster energy in your life. You are the situation 
are due for a fresh start, but it's all for the best. So if there's any kind of lower vibrational energy or trickster energy in your life, this is what you want to distance yourself and stay away from you guys. So if there's someone in your life that is in a magician energy, but it's a magician that's like in reverse and it's unhealthy for you, it's like a low vibrational manipulative person, stay away from this person. It could be a psychic vampire, a narcissist, someone that's in their ego, okay? So any kind of trickster energy, energy. I feel like you guys will be transmuting that energy into light and love and a higher vibrational frequency. Okay. So you guys represent this magician and this is about using the energy of creation, harnessing that energy and utilizing it for the highest good for all and choosing the highest vibrational pathway. So I feel like many of you guys collectively not only are you in this magician energy, but you're using the energy of creation. Uh, you're connecting with the very soul essence of who you are. You're being your true authentic self and you're shining your light and your gifts into the world, you guys. And I feel like you're inspiring many people to also be their true authentic self and find what it is that they feel passionate about and to start creating. Okay. So you guys are very powerful magicians and light workers. Okay. So we got two more messages coming through. We also have the number 39, the third eye portal, which represents the third eye chakra for you guys. Very powerful activator card. So let me know what resonates for you guys with this image, how it makes you feel, okay? Because these are activator cards. They will activate your third eye chakra. So this is an energy of vision, clairvoyance, and clarity, as well as confusion. So remember that monkey mind, feeling mentally scattered. Um, there's a need to look at things, you guys, from a higher perspective and understand and shift your awareness at this time and release and let go of any sort of negative thoughts or feeling scattered mentally. So you may need to meditate, yoga, do breath work, okay? So let's go ahead and read the number 39, the third eye portal. All right, so Spirit is saying for you guys and the collective with this third eye portal, very powerful energy here, a purple and yellow we have. This is saying your clairvoyant, psychic, and visionary abilities are expanding and stretching right now own your gifts and begin activating them because they are very important for you. You need to see your situation with more clarity to clear confusion and the monkey mind, engage in activities that will calm the mind and help you begin to refocus. Meditations will be helpful. This situation also requires activating your vivid imagination for unique solutions. Yes, so you guys, you're going through an activation of your third eye portal. It's whisking you away on an inward journey towards serenity, clarity, and expansion beyond limitation. I'm hearing spirits say that you are limitless and free. There is nothing that can hold you back. You guys are opening up your third eye chakra and you're gaining more mental clarity and you're receiving new psychic abilities and downloads. This is helping you to open up your intuitive abilities from within your being. Expand your pineal gland. Call forth the abilities of all of your power centers and gain spiritual connection and second sight into other realms and dimensions. Yes, you guys are going through a major third eye activation and you're coming into this powerful magician energy and you're reinventing yourself. That This is this energy right here I'm hearing spirit say, this magician energy that you're coming into, you're literally gonna change the world, okay? So whatever kind of projects, business, healing techniques that you offer, teachings that you do. You have very powerful knowledge and wisdom at your disposal, and you're going to be sharing these gifts and abilities with the world, and not only inspiring the world, you guys, but you're teaching the world, and you're raising the consciousness on the planet, okay? So this is a really big deal. It's absolutely amazing. All right, and after the third eye portal, the last message is liberation, the number 26, this is representing you guys taking your personal power and sovereignty back, liberating and freeing yourself from negative thought patterns, self-limiting belief systems, addictions, codependency patterns, 
Um, it could be also releasing yourself from karmic cycles. Whatever this is for you, you are freeing yourself at this time. This is also an energy of self-attainment and self-mastery. Wow, what a powerful message here. So let's read the number 26, Liberation. Wow, you guys, this is powerful. This new Aquarian age is going to be absolutely amazing, and it's only the beginning. So just know, you guys, you're creating powerful change in the world, and you got to make sure you keep your thoughts positive and pure towards yourself and what's, what it is you're thinking and manifesting at this time, because I'm hearing that we're manifesting very quickly. So make sure your thoughts are positive and you have clear, positive intentions towards what you want and what it is that you're focusing on, okay? So no one can truly take your power unless you allow it. So if you've experienced powerlessness, spirit is asking you to remember who you are and reclaim your power. Step up to your true potential and in your current situation, take the initiative, be assertive, but also be loving. It's time for you to be free and be empowered. This may be your time to celebrate your achievements in life or release from the things that are no longer serving you. Yes. And I'm hearing spirit say the last message, liberation is also about complete realization of inner empowerment. And this is representing total harmony, fulfillment, power, and the ultimate joy of communion with one soul and its purpose. So you guys, you guys are coming into soul alignment within yourself and your purpose in this lifetime. And this fully embodies all elements fusing together in a divine mosaic. This uplifting ray motivates a forward momentum of initiation frequencies to unfold an eventual arrival to self-attainment. So you guys are going to be entering into this energy of feeling liberated and free, no longer holding yourself back, no longer feeling stuck or stagnant with people, relationships, situations, your negative thought patterns. You guys are learning to free yourself and come into an energy of empowerment, harmony, and communion within your soul and your higher purpose in this lifetime. So, wow, what a powerful, magical message for you guys. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this energy for you. So if you enjoyed this reading, you guys, please give it a thumbs up and like this video. Also, if you're new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell so you can be notified for all of my new upcoming episodes on my channel. And feel free to engage in the comments, you guys, and drop me a comment and let me know how these oracle messages resonate for you. And I also offer psychic readings. So if you guys are interested in a personal reading, I'll leave all my psychic services below in the description box on my community page and also in the comments, okay? And you can simply email me at starlightpriestess at yahoo.com or I have my phone number on there and you guys can call or text me and we can set up an appointment together, okay? All right, you guys, I love you so much. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Happy Thanksgiving for tomorrow. I hope you have an amazing holiday and I will see you in my next collective reading. Namaste.